afternoon all and welcome and thanks very much for coming because I know it's a Monday afternoon, it's an unfortunate time to be holding a launch but um, we have to go with the times that we're given and uh, I do apologise, well I shouldn't apologise because the weather is not my fault <laughs> but anyway, the Book of Kells experience, a lot of you would have heard of it, we had a minor launch back in August with um, Kevin Kidney in the Hedford Arms Hotel but um, I just want to take you through how the Book of Kells experience came about. The Boyne Valley Initiative was started by Fulcher Island um, in the midst of the um, Eastern Midlands Regional Strategy, where they recognised that heritage was the key product for bringing tourism to this re region. Another point that they recognised that we need to actually retain visitors in this area, um, because what people tend to do is to stop here, just have a cup of coffee and move on, and they miss the amount of heritage that we have here in this area. So what they um, identified as well was that in order to sell this to consumers, they needed to bundle the concepts or the themes that are in this area. It would be easier to actually move it forward to Europe and to America as a theme, as opposed to trying to sell individual towns like Kells or Trim or near Grange, but if they bundled it together, then customers will be able to identify with it. So ourselves as Boyne Valley Champions were invited to buy into this concept, and instead of doing what we used to do before, which was to concentrate on our own individual properties and businesses, but we were to change our mindset and actually cooperate and work with other tourism providers so that we could actually bring business that would benefit everybody. <clears throat> the investment we were asked to make was, first of all, to attend all the training sessions and workshops. These went over, um, on for about two years. We were asked to make a pack of information on the heritage in our area and make sure that our visitors and guests actually got that information. We were to develop, develop a priced heritage package based on the product with other providers. And in all our marketing and communication, we were to refer to the Bourne Valley. What would we get from Fulcher Island? Well, they would include us in their marketing campaigns for the Boyne Valley. We would get free training, we would get familiarisation trips, and we would also benefit from a quality control mechanism that would keep us in check to make sure we were um, on the right um, path. So, for example, on the 29th of April last year, we had a full day where we learnt about the Hill of Tara, Trim, Trim Castle, Kells Heritage Centre, Causey Farm, Lockrew Cairns, and the Battle of the Boyne with um, Willie Carr and Shane Monaghan. Now you can see there it was a very long day and all these days were very long so it was an investment on in our part to take time out of our days, um, normal routines and actually go to these familiarisation trips and training outings. That's an example of one that was held earlier on this year in Slane Castle. We had the equivalent of speed dating but it's speed networking mm -hmm. So we were able to meet a lot of tourism providers and learn about what they did and see if we could include that in our packages. For John, we're looking for 20 clustered Boyne Valley offers. A collection of what is in our own particular town to be sold to the FIT market. The free independent traveller, both foreign and domestic. There was a right to put in place to help us, to help us present the package properly. So with the Kells package, obviously, the centre of our Kells package would be, naturally, the monastic site. Um, it's an area of great importance. It was a royal dwelling long before St. Colin Kell came along, and it is known as one of the best collections of monastic treasure in Ireland. And along with that, we have other very important resources. We have the Ring Forts, we have St. Colin Kell's house, which is 9th century, we have St. Colin Kell's well, we have Headfoot House with this wealth of interior decoration. We have the Spire of Lloyd, the Fathom Graves. We have Suterans and Numbered, the now restored Victorian waterworks. We have a very, very good centre in Kells. We have a wealth of um, tourism products to, to sell. So once we had that centre, then we could look at what was within an easy driving um, distance for tourists. And then we could begin to package that. So. For example, Telltown is a maximum of a 10 minutes drive from the centre of town. And it's a, an area of huge importance as um, 
James was trying to say that this was the area where Queen Telchu's palace was. This was where the Telchin games were held. They were further down to the right. Professor Ugin, and he does pass on his apologies for not 